Hey YouTube, it's Laura here with Little Lights by Laura, and I thought I would show you guys how to fill shapes with patterns. Um, you can use all kinds of different patterns, all kinds of different shapes, but here is a quick tutorial for you. So, um, as you see here, I used like the mermaid scale, um, but like I said, you can use chevron, you can do polka dots, whatever you want. So, move this out of the way, and let's get started. So first, we need a shape. I'll just do the number three, four. There we go. And I'm going to make this big. And then I'm going to go ahead and change my font now. I use Smoothie Shop. Um, that is a font that I think I got on Defont.com. And actually, I lied. I'm not going to use Smoothie Shop. I want to use a more um, block um, font because that tends to work better because you're giving yourself more surface area to let the font fill um, the space with. So let's just do impact. Okay. So there's our shape, if you will. And then I'm just going to go up to my library and I'm going to choose this scalloped background. Um, like I said, you can use anything you want, but um, I have this on hand. You can um, search in the Silhouette Store for backgrounds. Um, okay, so now I'm going to flip this vertically because I want the scales to go this direction. And then the other thing I'm going to do, because this is a background, I am going to right click and I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to right click again I'm going to release the compound path. Now this is um, something that I found is helpful so that when you go to fill your shape it will actually allow the new shape to become a compound path. So now once I've done that I'm just going to go back through select it all again and make it a compound path. Okay. Now I'm going to take my shape and I'm going to place it on top of my um, pattern. And what I want to do next is I'm going to um, make sure that my shape or my number is on top. So I'm just going to right click here because I have my background selected and I'm going to say send this to the back. And now when I click on, I should be able to click on my three. So let me, there we go, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say bring to front just to double check and make sure it comes to the front. Now before I do anything else I'm going to make an internal offset so I'm going to click here and then for me personally so that I can keep my um, line straight I like to go in and change the color so that I can tell, sorry if that's hard to see, okay my internal offset is the black line. So. What I want to do is take the original three away. Now, if you want to get particular, you can kind of scoot your three in place. Like, let's say you want to make sure that there's two scales at the bottom, or you want to come all the way to the edge. For me personally, I'll play with it a little bit, but I don't get too caught up in it because I think that's kind of the glory of it all. It's just the imperfection that's fun. So um, once you're satisfied with where you like it, then you're just going to select both the background and the shape. You're going to come down here to your modify and you're going to crop. And there you go. Now the reason why you kept this is so that you can have a border. Now on this, this again is just your preference. I usually click on it and now I'm going to use my arrow keys to kind of straighten it out and that looks good to me. So it's good enough. So now I'm going to select everything again, right click, make a compound path. And if you guys are wondering what a comp the difference between a compound path and ungrouping, I will try and link the video below um, explaining the difference. But basically it allows you to actually cut things out all the way using compound path. So now when I go and I color this in, there you have it. All of the white is what's going to be left exposed, if you will. 
So there you go, guys. I hope that helps you um, learn how to fill a shape with a pattern. This will work for any shape you do, letters, numbers, um, cats, dogs, mice, whatever, you name it. Feel free to comment below any other videos you guys would like for me to make. Um, hope this helps you and enjoy. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Bye.